The most recent update for Darkroom brings a plethora of new features, including an all new light mode and soundscape. However, in this video, we'll be walking through two major features of this release. First, we'll take a look at the iPad focus feature, Spaces. Following that, we'll demonstrate how to use shortcuts in Darkroom. Let's go. With the introduction of iPadOS 13, Apple has introduced a new feature that allows applications to have multiple windows open at the same time. Darkroom has adopted this functionality with the feature we're calling Spaces. Using Spaces is very straightforward. If you'd like to open a photo in another window, you can simply drag the image to either the left or right side of your iPad. This is especially useful for trying different editing styles for a single photo. If you prefer the older photo, you can simply reactivate that space by tapping on it and it'll ask you which edit you'd like to use. You can also use this to work in different photo libraries at the same time, applying batch edits, deleting, etc. Moving on to shortcuts, you now have the ability to automate your photo editing. Darkroom shortcuts allow you to import, filter, frame, and export images. Shortcuts unlock a level of efficiency to photo editing that is unparalleled today. To create a custom shortcut, open your Shortcuts app, tap on the Create Shortcut button, and add the actions. To add the Darkroom shortcut, search for Darkroom in the Apps and Actions search box. Once added, you can tweak the options to your liking. To get you started, we've created a fantastic example shortcut that you can download now. It selects the photos you've favorited today, applies the A200 filter, prepares Darkroom for export. The latest update for Darkroom brings a new level of power to mobile editing, and we can't wait to see what you create with it. You can download the update for free in the App Store today.